everybody what's up welcome back for another video if you are not already subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button become part of the kick squad i'm kiki and today i'm coming at you guys today with a video about my first experience with chemical peel actually it was my first and second because i got two rounds of chemical peels and i know i promised you guys that i was going to bring this video to you guys last year when i got the peels done but I just never uploaded that footage. I just It was so much little pieces that I just never got around to uploading the video. But since I'm considering getting another chemical peel, I wanted to show you guys my experience the first time I got it done compared to this time when I'm getting it done. So I'm going to go through and show you guys all the footage from when I got the chemical peel, um, how my face peeled each day, and what the outcome was of the chemical peel. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys my journey once I get my new chemical peel because I told you guys I have been treating my skin getting rid of my hyperpigmentation this is part one the second part will actually be my skincare journey thus far before I get the next peel so I hope you guys find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share it wherever you like I love you guys and I will talk to y'all in the next video bye so my first round of peels was a 15% TCA peel and this was suggested by the esthetician this is the first day of the peel and as you can see, my problem areas are the hyperpigmentation and acne scarring on my cheeks. This was the second day of my peel. I started experiencing a little bit of peeling around my nose and my mouth. On day three of my peel, I started experiencing peeling on my cheeks. Very light superficial peeling. In my last day of peeling, like day four, I did get a little bit more peeling on my cheeks but even after my skin peeled it didn't show any results so I already knew that I was going to go back and go for a higher percentage peel the next time. So our esthetician suggested that we have five rounds of peels every two weeks. So my first round of peels was a 15% and I saw very little results. At $90 per peel I felt like every two weeks $90 you're doing 15% pills. I'm not getting any results. Let's bump it up a notch. So I went up to 25%. She's going 25%, y'all. Frosting enough. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She frosted a lot. Yeah, you're gonna peel like a snake today. Mm -mm. You're gonna be in the color for mm -mm. real. Girl, that's that dead frost. Mm -mm. Frosted boo boo. Good God, that's frosted cheeks. I don't listen to you, all right? Can you imagine if I would have done the 30? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that feet talking about my feet. <laughs> Y'all see them feet shaking? <laughs> Girl, you got a beard. You hear me? You Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, guys. So, this is what it looks like right now. And this is still the same day that I got the peel done. And, y'all, tell you the truth, I'm really, really nervous. I'm hoping that I didn't burn because, look, my face is so dark. But that's what they said is supposed to happen, that it's going to turn dark. And then that skin is going to shed. But just so y'all know, my real thoughts on this is that I'm really nervous um, that the chemical pill burnt me. Like It doesn't feel like anything. If I don't look in the mirror, I won't even know I have, you know, this stuff on my face. But yeah, I'm really, really nervous about this. I'm praying that everything turns out okay and that I didn't just fuck up what I was already trying to fix. So yeah. Keep you guys posted. Let y'all see what it looks like in the morning.
Okay, so today is the following day after I got my second round of the TCA peel, um, the 25% TCA peel, and my face is tight. I'm not as worried as I was before because I see that these parts are darkening and look like they're about to start peeling. I was thinking that I got a chemical burn, but they don't look like chemical burns. They look like, you know, my skin is about to start peeling. It's darkening because it was burnt. Um... <clears throat> Or I was thinking that it was, you know, hyperpigmentation and it was going to stay like this. So I'm a little less worried now and yeah, hopefully by tomorrow I start at least peeling and some of these darkness get away from my face. My face is really tight, like if I pull on it, you can see. So later on that night, as you can see, my face was really, really tight and wrinkly and it looked like it's about to start peeling. I did get one little breakthrough spot where it's starting to peel, but other than that, my face is just really, really tight and wrinkly feeling. Okay, I know I look a mess, but don't judge me. So I want to show you guys, today is day Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, day three. Yeah, day three after getting my 25% TCA peel. As you can see, I'm starting to peel and it looks disgusting. Yesterday, it was like really, really tight around my mouth. I could barely open my mouth. And that tightness that I was feeling yesterday, I'm feeling it right here, right here, and by my nose today. So I'm sure those are going to be peeling like this tomorrow. You're not supposed to, you know, peel it off or bother it or agitate it. You're supposed to let it just naturally fall off. So that's what I'm doing. Being good about it. Keeping my hands out my face. Yeah, this is what I'm looking like on day three. So ready for all this stuff just to come off. So yeah, the skin, the new skin feels so soft. Like newborn baby skin. So I'm excited about that. And as you can see, it's not this black color that I thought my skin was going to stay. So I'm proud of that. I'm happy about that. So yeah. So far, during this time, my face was really, really dry and itchy, and I would try to moisturize it with uh, just a regular moisturizer, and that was not working. So what I purchased was the Aquaphor, and I used that all over my skin, and it really calmed it and kept it hydrated and didn't make it feel so tight and itchy. And my favorite cleanser to use during this time because you want to use something that's really, really gentle. I use the Fresh Soy Cleanser because that's something I had. If I had to purchase something, I probably would have purchased something like Cetaphil. I think that's what it is in the drugstore. I've never used it, but I know that's a gentle cleanser as well. So I just used what I had and that worked really, really well for me. Like I would definitely use that again. So as the days continue, I continue to peel even more. Um, the skin was coming off and whole sheets so I started noticing that some of the spots were actual burns and that I had experienced chemical burns right here by my nose a little bit by my mouth the whole left side of my face had a burn on it and now I had a bigger problem to treat which were the burns which I cleared up it took about a couple months for me to clear the burns up but I used Mederma and then start working on my skin on my own but I do plan on going back to get chemical pills, but I'm just going to do it at a smaller dosage and definitely make sure to wear sunscreen. And at this point, I was pretty much discouraged. So I really stopped taking pictures because I had started seeing that I had experienced the chemical burns. So I do not recommend going as high as a 25% on maybe your first or second. Hell, I don't even know if I would do it for my third treatment. Um, I definitely say... Follow what your esthetician says and work your way up. Do more frequent sessions of chemical pills at a smaller dosage instead of trying to skip ahead and go to a higher dosage to, you know, burn your whole face off at one time. After I did this, I did not go back for chemical pills. So that was my first and second experience with chemical pills. Like I said, this was last year. And as of now, right now while I'm recording this, my skin is doing so much better. And I can't wait to share with you guys what I've been doing. So that video will be coming up soon, but I wanted to give you guys the backstory on my chemical pill before I started a new one. I hope this video was informative, helpful, and you guys got something from it. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, share it wherever you share videos. I love you guys, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.